I call it rainy car. <laughs> Jack and Sophie and I have been reading and spending some time worshiping the Lord, but I put on the new Carrie Jo Garden album because the youth worship team, last night it was uh, Brennan Dutch that led, sang a new song from the Carrie Jo Garden album. And honestly, I hadn't given it enough listen time but it's really good. Jack Jack and I have been spending some time together. I realized I didn't finish up yesterday what happened at the vet. So Jack, he has a little thing on his bottom and I was afraid it might be a little tumor and it is. Um, so they're gonna go in and take that off today. Uh, the doctor said it shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, we love our doctor I'm at Mission Vet Clinic, but he thinks it's hormone related. So Jack is getting the old snip snip today. We've never had him neutered because it's never been an issue. We had Sophie spayed years ago, but he's never, I mean, we've never had an issue with him. So we just got one done and left it at that. But he's getting neutered today and having the little tumor snipped off. So yeah, so I'm a little bit, we've been spending some quality time together, huh, Jack Jack? Can you say good morning? He doesn't know what's coming. And he's gonna have to wear the cone of shame. You're gonna have to wear the cone of shame, buddy. And Sophie, they did a blood test on her and we'll have those results soon as far as the doctor said it's probably either diabetes or hyperthyroid. I love you, daddy's gonna take you, okay? Ah, <gasps> there's dad. Go with dad. Weather's kind of perfect for this day, Jack. I'm sorry, buddy. And he's also having a surgery today. So I'm taking Jack in before I head to the office. And I'll pick him up later this afternoon. But you're gonna be all good when it's all done, buddy. Jack, I'm so sorry, buddy. Please don't mind the boxes in the back. I'll be dropping them off in the dumpster today. <laughs> got some stuff shipped from Amazon. Jack just got his shot. They had me hold him so they can get the sedation started. Poor little guy. But he shouldn't be much better once this is finished, that's for sure. And the doctor, <coughs> he said he got Sophie's blood test back and her sugar levels are quite high. <laughs> so. She has diabetes. <laughs> she's gonna have to go on a very strict diet, I'm assuming. We'll see how that works out for her. She's not gonna be happy about that. I think her internal begging system <clears throat> is probably gonna go into overdrive. <laughs> anyway, gotta take care of the doggos. So I'm gonna pick him up around two and he's going to have um, a little bit of a rude awakening later on when the uh, anesthesia wears off. Poor buddy. I don't know if we've mentioned this or not before, but Jack and Sophie, they are AKC purebred miniature schnauzers. Schnauzers. We did allow them to breed before in the past, actually. And we were just gonna hold off on Jack and not worry about it since Sophie was uh, spade but no it's time so poor buddy <laughs> it's sad it's very sad for him Josh just called and Sophie does have diabetes well we'll figure it out this morning I've been reading I my book I skimmed two books and I decided that I wasn't gonna read fully through them. I usually read the first couple chapters and if it hasn't just caught me then but anyways 
This is really good so far. I'm on the second chapter. The, I read the intro in the second chapter. Don't Settle for Stay Safe by Sarah Jakes Roberts. I really enjoy listening to her speak at One Church LA. Yeah, it's just really good. So I've been writing down some of the things. Uh, one of the things that I liked the most was that she said, the second chapter is about look for the weeds in your life, look for what's holding you back, look for your sins. All those things, don't pretend you don't have them because we all have weeds. And then be willing to pull them by the roots. A lot of times we just skim over our sin and I'm speaking from personal experience here. We just skim over stuff, but we don't get to the root of why we're sinning. That's something that I've really been trying to work on and it's, we're never there guys, but I wanna be further along than I am right now. Otherwise, the weeds will 100% ruin the beauty and the productivity of the garden that God's trying to create in you. When we let those weeds stay there, we don't have a beautiful garden anymore and we can keep pulling them just by the top surface, but unless we get the roots out, then the productivity of our life that God wants isn't gonna happen. If you're looking for a book that's more of a personal spiritual development, um, this is a good one. We've been writing cards this morning. Birthday cards, <clears throat> Father's Day cards that we should have already gotten in the mail. Cards, 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 cards. You got a package, Mom. I did? Mm -hmm. Me? Mm -hmm. I never get packages. Oh, my chat book. So it's just going back through my Instagram and makes a book. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. The tea party. Flight day. Javen on a bridge. Me on a bridge. Pops. Ooh, worship night. Oh, there's Roslyn as a baby. Oh, oh, there's Pops and Nana and Uncle Bo. There's Abby and I. Oh, those are good. I love getting these. This is two years ago when Javen was shorter than I am and Reagan was shorter than I am. They're both pretty much the same height as I am now. Reagan's got a few inches to go. J they still both have a couple inches to go, but they're getting there quick. Mom lost something and we were looking in our purse and I dumped out our purse and I found a piece of withered celery. <laughs> I was going to eat it. And I grabbed it, and then it... <laughs> so you put it in your purse. That's disgusting. What kind of a Northwest girl are you? You have an umbrella? You never have an umbrella. Okay, well, we got a dryer hose. Josh would have normally got it, but he has board meeting tonight, and I was out and about, so I just got it. Well, it's time to go pick up Jack from the vet. Go find out how everything went. He seems to be doing quite well, all things considered. He lost his man parts. I know that was traumatic. Come on. Poor buddy. It's raining kittens and puppies, Rain. and I have a Colby with me. Lovely. How was work, Colby? Oh, it was a lot of work. I got subpoenaed today. Yeah? I got subpoenaed for July 7th. Nice. Guess when my wedding at, uh, honeymoon is. July 7th. Yep. <laughs> He got subpoenaed on his honeymoon. I don't know why I find that so funny. That's funny. Sorry. I know we just got married, but I gotta go to court. I called them. I'm like, I'm getting married. <laughs> and the guy... They I didn't care too much, did I they? I witnessed a crime. Yes, he did witness I a crime. I saw a drunk driver tearing up, doing donuts in our park. Yeah. And supposedly, he's got a bunch of DUIs, assault charges, which is stacked on, and I just happened to take a video of him doing it, which was hilarious, but then I just had to give it to the police, mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. got me subpoenaed, and now I'm their star witness. <laughs> on his wedding. <laughs> or on his honeymoon. On my honeymoon. <laughs> Colby, that's... That's pretty funny. That's bad, that's bad news Brian right there. <laughs> or but bad luck Brian, or whatever that means. Of, I'm not... They're gonna <laughs> do something for me, because that's not the actual court court day. That's just, like, meeting up with the attorney or something. Good. So they were like, work something. Anyways, Colby and I are going to do a walkthrough in the church here, and then I've got a board meeting to go to. Sounds like fun. Hey, buddy. 
Jack and I are headed home. He had a rough day, huh, bud? He's had a rough day. It's very sad. Gotta go home, get some food. Poor buddy. Our board meeting went quite well, and it's already done. Record time, so that's good. It was a good day. Got quite a bit of work done today, so I'm glad about that, and I'm very glad that we got Jack taken care of. I'm trying a new camera view, by the way. I call it Rainy Car. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. I've been home for a while, actually. We've been talking about a lot. And we're back. My battery died. <laughs> but we've been home. We've been talking about doggy care. Sophie is confirmed diabetes, and Jack's on the mend. Yeah, I've just been talking about that and talking about Cassidy's wedding coming up and some other church stuff, just hanging out. But we did want to stop in and say thank you guys so much for watching, liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting, all those wonderful things that make you a little bit more wonderful yourself. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye. Bye. Love God, love people.